We think the Fishman product is the best, mm -hmm. period. We, we think it is the absolute best pickup system, the most sophisticated pickup system on the marketplace. But we want it to be clean for the player, to not interfere with, with the beauty of the instrument. Mm -hmm. Our instruments are very traditional. And sometimes when you would put a, a knob or a piece of plastic on the outside of a very traditional thing, it, it was... Um, disruptive, it was jarring to the eye. It was, um, it, it's, if you had a beautiful sculpture and then you put an iPad in its hand, it doesn't look right, you know? And so, <laughs> that was, it doesn't make sense. So we wanted something, we wanted to keep the guitar pure, but we wanted to give the player the absolute best electronic system that was easy and intuitive. Intuitive to use is key. Something that was uncomplicated. That was the, the key component. Fishman is the most sophisticated maker of pickups in the world. Mm -hmm. I, I've, I've visited many of the other pickup manufacturers and seeing what they're doing. 
and, and the Fishman products are so sophisticated and so much better and so much more professional than anyone else's and they have such a wide breadth of product mm -hmm. to choose from uh, it's very hard for us to go wrong with whatever they're offering and Larry was so helpful when we were talking about Aura Enhance uh, we spent a year just discussing it over the table going back and forth getting on a getting on the whiteboard and drawing and trying to uh, be creative about solutions that would work for both Fishman and for us because we have to be conscious that Fishman is their own company they don't work for us we work together so we have to work together and make decisions that work for both companies so very good yeah, relationships it is all about relationship all about it Uh, one of our uh, longest term partners in the industry, Martin Guitar, is featuring Aura in many of their guitars. So we've mini miniaturized and simplified Aura for use in um, Martin's um, uh, amplified acoustics. This happens to be a DC-28E, which uh, enhanced, which is a new model and a new system that we developed for Aura, um, and it was released last year at the NAMM show. Uh, I'll let our friends at, Aura exp at uh, Martin explain um, the particulars about the guitar, but we'll talk about the electronics right now. Uh, what we've done in here, we've embedded an Aura system in the guitar, and it's a very simplified version of Aura. It has one image created with one microphone, um, and the image is pre-blended, probably 60-40% blend on the pickup um, uh, image uh, blend. Uh, this came after spending days in the recording studio with our friends at Martin and we probably did 12 different recordings of this guitar and this is the one they chose to go in this guitar. It can't be changed. It's got their seal of approval on it. It's another feature in this guitar uh, that we're particularly excited about and it's the enhanced system. The enhanced system in addition to the under saddle pickup, the under saddle matrix and the Aura, is a bridge plate transducer, a very special one that we designed to be highly expressive um, to tapping and uh, things of that nature without feeding back or without giving you noises that you normally associate with body mount pickups. The idea is we wanted to accommodate initially uh, the newer styles of playing where people are doing a lot of tapping and percussive work on the um, body of the instrument and uh, we enhanced the response of the aura by adding in the enhance and that you can do by turning in different amounts of enhance on a smaller uh, single tone uh, blend wheel on the bottom. So this guitar has incredible versatility. It gives you that beautiful pristine aura sound. It allows you to EQ the aura and then if you want to add some definition and some percussiveness to your playing for more modern styles or even for finger picking styles where you just want to play the guitar lightly and have the top be more responsive then that's where the enhance comes in and uh, I think this, it's an absolutely wonderful instrument and I'm really pleased with the way the electronics and the instrument uh, present themselves and work together so Rob Ketch is going to show you um, what this guitar sounds like. You bet. Um, I'm going to go back to a uh, flat equalization to start with, and um, we'll bring in a little bit of the enhanced pickup to start hearing that effect on the sound. So once again, just to get our reference, here's uh, the uh, acoustic matrix and pre-blended Aura image just by themselves. <laughs> Twenty-five percent blend of the of the enhance. If we go a little richer with the, if we go a little bit richer with the enhance control, now say we want to play with our bare fingers something really delicate. What's nice is enhance will. Um, 
bring out those harmonics and uh, really allow you to play as dynamically and as softly as you want, but still have it translate when you amplify the guitar. So let's listen to that. So they're all DC 20 AD sounds. The guitar still is very much itself, but adding in enhance, you get uh, a lot of different flavors of that D28, and that you can use it in different musical settings. Um, as Larry had mentioned, one of the one of the applications for the enhance uh, transducer added into the Aura VT enhance system uh, is for people that want to play more percussively, right? That the um, Modern players do a lot of tapping on the guitar um, and getting some rhythmic aspects. The enhanced pickup is really expert uh, at picking up those effects while minimizing all the nasty things, the handling noise, the feedback, uh, and all the negative things that have been associated with body pickups before. Um, I should also mention that the enhanced control is additive. So when you've got it rolled back, it's completely out of the system and when you've got it rolled forward, you've got the maximum contribution of the hand in hand. So let's get it at about 75%, which is a pretty rich blend of enhance. percussive things will jump out of the guitar. Um, it's very obvious that's not my primary style, but uh, the young players that, uh, that play in that style with a lot of tapping uh, really enjoy it. Twenty years maybe now, mm -hmm. uh, 25, you know, 25 years we've been making pickups mm -hmm. with analog electronics. Mm -hmm. and in the beginning, we were really the first very successful company um, in the States. LR Bags was there. He's still a small company compared to us. He, was, he had a certain amount of success, but not with the OEM that much. He had some in Godin and this and that. Uh, but, you know, everywhere else in the world, including the States, it was pickups with some preamp and we always thought ours sounded the best, but frankly, people were getting closer to us because, you know, after 25 years, people figure out how to make things, right? Mm -hmm. And, um, um, you know, to stay at the top and be most competitive, you have to really be innovative and understand, you know, how to present something different. And to me, the under the saddle was still the best place for the pickup because it played the loudest on stage, most stable. We understood that, and the pickups worked flawlessly. They never break. The qualities, I mean, you know, there was very little way to improve the pickup. Change the material a little bit. It's like uh, coffee, strong coffee, weak coffee, you know, but not better, just slightly different. So for me, I, I really trying to make the sound more realistic, and I always love the way a good German microphone or something like that worked with acoustic guitars in recording studios. And to me, that was the ultimate way to amplify an acoustic guitar on stage, if you could do it with a microphone, but you can't because of the problem. So that's where the inspiration came from. How do I solve this problem? How do I get from on the guitar to in front of the guitar virtually without having a physical microphone there? And um, it was thinking about what the difference was, the fact that there's a time delay mm -hmm. for the sound to, to move and to develop. And I had also talked to uh, somebody, I was trying to build a uh, what I call an instrumentation lab at Fishman. 
Guitars, every guitar sounded different. I wanted to find out <laughs> why. I could hear it. But on an oscilloscope, you couldn't see anything. And uh, with regular computer sound analysis, that you'd see waveforms, but you could never understand why it was different. So I met uh, a very interesting guy over at MIT, and um, he taught me a lot about digital signal processing. And, um, um, you know, my discussions with him really started making me think, well, it would be possible to do a convolution, is what that's called, the process. And I said to him, Ira, I want to do this and convolve it into that. Can you do it? He says, only if the system is linear. I said, okay. And as it turns out, acoustic guitars are linear. If you play them louder, the resonances don't change. They just always stay in the same place. Now, if you play it so hard that the guitar is overdriven, it doesn't matter anyway. That doesn't sound musical. It's just noise. But luckily, the um, overtones are always there in the same position. They all get louder and softer together. And that's what it means by linear. So I said, okay, I think this will work. So at that point, we invested several years in learning how to work with digital signal processing chips. And not that many people in our business side, none in the guitar side was doing it at the time. It was like, what are you, crazy? <laughs> so that's what did it. And it came out better than we expected. Mm -hmm. so. Plus the people that use it, mm -hmm. James Taylor, mm -hmm. um, just, you know, Chris can give you all the artists, Jerry Douglas, um, we make a custom pedal for Jerry, it's all aura, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, all the major, 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 major artists that perform, only perform with aura, mm -hmm. there's a reason for it. Martin puts it in their very most expensive mm -hmm. acoustic electrics. So uh, in the future, so if this uh, concept has been not changed, keep doing uh, making a new products Always. for musicians. Always. 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 Mm. It's all we do. It's mm. all we do. We make tools for musicians. Mm -hmm. Inspiring tools for musicians. Mm -hmm. Yes. Perfect. Hi. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for taking Thank a you. long time. Thank you.